Greetings, greetings, all my dreamers and dreamettes. It's your boy Mickey Fenty, aka Mickey Made It. If you're new to this channel, you know what to do to this channel. Subscribe right now. Also, if you want to support my brand, it's inspiredbydreams.shop. Just trying to grow something new with my community. Okay, today's episode, like I told you in my live morning show, that we were going to speak on this topic, and it's jealousy. <laughs> Being jealous of somebody, you're what jealous of something they have. These are all the things that they're all not. They have nothing to do with the other person. It has everything to do with yourself and how you look at things and your intake. You know, if you put it the way I look at it, if it has anything to do with material things, any anything like that, man, none of that stuff is worth it. And people work hard for the things they get, whether they are YouTube, or whatever they're doing. They're trying to work hard to get where they to feed their families and here you come along with your jealous energy and you got to point out every wrong they remind them of every wrong the only things that we bring up are the things that hit social media as far as like in the papers or allegations or criminal i'm not going into somebody's past and pick out the things that they did wrong because we all do things wrong you guys got to get off this jealous energy and make sure that you're keeping your mind clear to see things for what it is let's jump into it Mickey made it. Mickey made what you made, Mickey. Forget about the way it used to be. This is not a damn democracy. We are in a state of emergency, and my word is law. Sometimes people are jealous of you because you are not jealous of them. A lot of us use our beauty, our intellect, our education, our finances, our possessions, and our acquisitions to define ourselves. And some of us take it a step further by using those very same things to separate ourselves from people to make ourselves feel better than them because the underlying issue is usually that most of us do not feel good enough. And so if you're the type of person who uses tangible items to separate yourself from people and to make yourself feel better, and you encounter someone who is not jealous of you, what then do you have as leverage over them to define yourself as better and greater? They strip away your power. Additionally, if the person who is not jealous of you actually celebrates the things that you think they should be jealous of, it makes you hate them even more because their humility calls into question your superficiality. And a lot of us are not aware of that process. And so if you find that you're around someone who's pretty chill, pretty cool, they're humble, they don't bother you, they're not problematic, not into drama, and for whatever the reason you feel this, this unrest and they unsettle you and they aggravate you and they frustrate you and they've done nothing wrong, it's usually because they are triggering something in you that you're unaware of or they're triggering something in you that you're aware of that you've not worked on and usually it is jealousy. And I'll be very honest with you, I'm an incredibly jealous person. I'm very, very, very jealous. But my, my jealousy looks like compliments and my jealousy looks like celebration. If I'm jealous of you, I will leverage you to the highest level possible. I will treat you like the king and the queen that you are because the reality is if I treat you like shit, it's not going to give me your talents and your gifts. It's not going to make me feel better about myself. Like, what would me mistreating you do for my jealousy? Doesn't it just make sense to just deal with your jealousy internally and treat people externally beautifully they have nothing to do with the self-hate that you walk with and so i'll be very honest with you my jealousy is next level and the jealousy that i experience is towards monks i'm a hundred percent i'm a thousand percent jealous of monks bro like monks are so powerful that they can elevate their minds to the point where they damn near levitate their bodies they can meditate to the ten thousand dimension and there aren't even ten thousand dimensions bro if I encountered a monk, the first thing I'll be like, hey, yo, monk, monk, come here, let me talk to you. Like, bro, do you understand how great you are? I'm so freaking jealous of you. My God, you are built in greatness. Please show me the way, young grasshopper. I would let the monk know I'm jealous, but I would celebrate it because, again, my jealousy looks like celebration, not sabotage. Another set of people that I'm jealous of, people who like and love themselves. Damn it, if I don't feel like I'm just tolerating myself every day. People who like and love themselves, I celebrate them to the highest level. And I'll pull them aside, and I've done it, and I will continue to do it. Hey, yo, young king or young queen come here let me talk to you the way that you like and love on yourself is 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 intoxicating i'm jealous of hell or jealous as hell of it but please don't stop because one day i want to be like you lead so that i can follow my jealousy is complimentary i don't sabotage and a lot of you do not know how to gift people 
through your jealousy. And so you end up mistreating them because of how you feel about yourself. And so if you find yourself around good people who, who, who trigger this, this frustration with you, it, within you, even though you've done nothing wrong, it could be because you have a very broken system of what important is and that person simply isn't validating it for you. And that is a you problem, not a their problem, right? So that's what I want to contribute today. I hope that I've helped you. I hope that you learned something. I hope you find this content inspiring and relatable. We I hope that you have a beautiful day. All right, you absolutely know what's coming next. Here we go. Selfie stick, remote control, tripod thingy. It's very simple. The only people who will try to bully you are people who are jealous of you. When there is something about you that reminds them of what they lack. When you have confidence in yourself and they lack that confidence in themselves. That's exactly why they insult your looks, your aesthetics, the way that you dress, your body, your face, your hair, your personal style, your walk, your talk, everything about you that makes you great. That's why they try to body shame you. They see how confident you are in the skin that you're in. That's why they come for your skin complexion because you wear it loud and proud. You embrace your complexion. I don't care what complexion you are. I don't care if you're light bright. I don't care if you're deep and lovely. Do you hear me? You embrace your complexion. You embrace the body that God gave you. I don't care if you went and got it enhanced. You spent your money. You did what made you happy. That's why they size you up. They want you to feel small. As if they have so much power over you. As if they're so much better than you. When they see you, they see someone who's tall. Even if you're not tall. Your presence is tall. Your energy is tall. Your spirit is tall. Your aura is tall. They try to destroy you. They want you to feel powerless. They try to knock your self-esteem and your confidence. But see, when they do that, their low self-esteem is shown. The only people who will try to bully you are people who are jealous of you. People who see you as a threat. People who are intimidated by you. It's pure projection. But just remember something. Anyone who tries to put you down is already beneath you. And I want you to also remember something. When people try to make you feel small, it's because they really see how grand and big you are. So keep being you. That's how you shut them down. You let them know they don't stop any show. Do you hear me? They don't stop a show around here. That was season one. Here comes season two. Here comes season three. They can't cancel your show. Don't let them cancel your show. Keep giving them season after season after season after season after season. You walk in rooms like God sent you in there. You walk in there tall. Do you hear me? Strut. Pose. Twist. Look good doing it. Laugh. Smile. Don't take that smile off your face. I don't care how frustrated they make you. Don't you take that smile off your face. <laughs> <laughs> smile even bigger laugh keep being you they want your confidence don't give them power keep being you this comment right here is the truth pay attention y'all jealousy you may think it's some sort of compliment sometimes. You're like, oh, this person's just jealous. Oh, okay. But you got to understand how far people will take it. Your closest friend who you could have known for 10 years, your family, your cousin, your mama, your daddy, somebody, anybody, anybody close to you can be so jealous of you. Anybody that's not close to you. People take it so far to try to ruin your life. They will get close to you and learn things about you because then they know what's going to try to tear you down. They try to learn what triggers you. How can I get to this person? They keep their enemies close. But they're acting like your friend to make you let them in. Whole time they praying on your downfall. Whole time they plotting and scheming. Stay clear of people who are always trying to create a competition with you. These people usually are attention seekers. They get very aggravated and irritated when someone takes the focus off of them. Even if you're a person who you stick to yourself, you're not a bragger, you're not even in people's faces. It's just the fact that the presence that you bring makes people around you um, intrigued about who you are and the peace that you carry. They don't like that. The way they'll try to create competition with you is everything will be about either like um, brand names, um, status, where you live. They really try to dig in to your personal life. And again, this is so that they can set up some standards to see if you can reach them, to make themselves 
feel better than you because they're naturally intimidated by your presence. You have to only associate with these people as necessary. If it ain't necessary, keep it pushing because these are the people who have a deep seed of jealousy and jealous people, no matter how friendly they come about, these are the people that will smile, you know, they'll smile in your face, but their eyes are telling you a different story, even in the midst of the conversation. The demeanor of their smile doesn't even go with the look in their eyes. People like that are dangerous. They're dangerous because a lot of the time they will try to grow into a place of gaining your trust. And ultimately, they will end up doing something to hurt you, betray you, sabotage you because they never liked you from the jump. And you have to be able to recognize this because it could be very scary when you don't pick up on these signs. When you feel like someone is in competition with you and you don't even know who they are, keep it to a minimum. I hope that makes sense. People really be jealous of the way others love you. A lot of times they be jealous of your aura. They be jealous of the way that you carry yourself. They hate how blessed you are. And they hate the fact that you keep winning no matter what life throws at you. And the craziest thing is the people who don't like you and who hate you the most is people that you don't even know. And people that you never met a day in your life. And you just so happen to hear that so-and-so doesn't like you. Or so-and-so said this about you. And my thing is, that's fine that you don't like me, but how can you not like someone that you've never met or never had a conversation with? And how you gonna have an opinion on me when you don't even know the things that I've been through to get these blessings? But I guess when you're blessed, that's how it goes and that comes with the territory. I just learned to never stoop down to that level. You gotta just leave rotten fruit where they fall at. And I can never let someone else's hate towards me change my heart or change who I am as a person. All I can do is pray for them and keep doing me so I can stay blessed. Baby, I don't care what nobody say her name. You know when somebody is jealous of you. You know when somebody got a hateful spirit. You know somebody is envious of you. Y'all better watch those people, these um, family members, friends, relationships, whoever. Once you start seeing that somebody is hateful, jealous, and envious of you, baby, remove yourself expeditiously. Because ain't nothing good come from that. And, 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 and they not going to change. It don't matter what you do, how you do it. There's, you would never be good enough for them. Everything you do is going to be a problem for them. You could do your best. You could, you could get them the world. They still don't see the good in you. Because it's something in you that, that, that's, that you accumulate that they don't have, sweetheart. And they'll never have. And that's something that you got to accept. And that's okay. But baby, the envy is just it. The that, that, that spirit can turn to death. Energy never lies. That's why when you get the feeling that somebody doesn't like you and your gut senses just start tingling, bro, you better believe yourself. When somebody is low-key not supposed to be in your life, like they're just a hater, they don't like you like that, like something is just off, the signs will be there. And the number one sign will always be the energy that they give you. Especially when you're like an intuitive person, you'll be knowing. And like sometimes you try to like downplay stuff and you're like, oh, you know, maybe I'm just making things deeper than they are. Maybe it's just me being in my head. No, you're not. And honestly, you just have to get to a point where you accept that not everybody's gonna like you like that. And that's honestly okay. You're not gonna be for everybody and everybody's not gonna be for you and that is just like a fact of life but to sit here and try to dim your light just to make other people feel comfortable or make somebody like you or keep somebody in your life like nah do not do that me personally i just gotten to a point where i just let people think what they want to think about me and i don't particularly care that much in my personal opinion i feel like people's opinions of you only really matter when you give them weight and when you give them importance and it's just like everybody's gonna have a thought 
everybody's gonna have an opinion everybody's gonna be thinking something and it's just like why give more power to something that's really not even that important in the grand scheme of things you shouldn't stop being you i shouldn't stop being me and living in our authentic self just to make other people feel comfortable and just to keep people around like let them go so you can make space for somebody even better to come into your life come sit on this porch with me baby if you have ever had somebody who is jealous or envious of you your abilities your connections let's talk and i'm talking jealousy that looks like destruction they are trying to destroy your connections destroy your success sabotage or assassinate your character that's who we're talking about uh oh the light shined on me again the lord's gonna use me when a person feels inadequate within themselves, that inadequacy can spill over and manifest as envy and jealousy. Why? Because you possess something they desire. When a person perceives themselves as lacking in certain areas, they compare themselves unfavorably to you or somebody else who possesses what it is that they desire. So that comparison triggers jealousy and envy. So now because they focus on the things that they lack instead of appreciating the qualities that they have, they end up resenting the very person who possesses those qualities that they covet. Comparison is natural. Being envious or jealous to the point where you're trying to be destructive is not. And for that person who has that feeling of inadequacy or those feelings of inadequacy, that is a signal of the insecurities within them. And it's not gonna change until they really start building that self-acceptance and that gratitude towards the qualities, the attributes, the characteristics, the successes that they possess. For most people, it's not hard to admit that they admire something that somebody possesses. But for a person who has a deep-rooted feeling of inadequacy that has not done the work to actually work through those feelings, they can't admit that they simply just admire you or what it is that you have. It's their mindset. So if you are dealing with that type of person, if that person is around you, remove yourself from that person because they have some internal work to do. And the only thing that's gonna come out of it is the demolish of you, what you've built, or their attempt to sabotage everything good for you. Because then they'll feel better because they wanna bring you to a level that they see themselves or that they perceive themselves at. Don't waste your time, honey. Burn the bridge, all right? Bye, baby. You know, the funny thing about jealous people is these are people that are not intentional or they're not operating in their purpose. Because when you're intentional about what you want, you're operating your purpose, you don't have time to look left or right. Even if at times you know other people are ahead of you, you're not looking at them in, with envy because you understand that your time is going to come and what's for you is going to be for you. But the biggest thing people that are envious and jealous what they fail to recognize and they often don't see is that we can sense it in your spirit you can fake all you want to and hey congratulations hey sis and did, 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 did. but deep down inside your spirit i can feel it sis you're not really happy for me that congratulations was phony and you're really looking at me with side eye because you're wondering how i'm doing the things that i'm doing if you focus on what you have to do, you not go have to worry or be envious or have that envy in your heart. Because I promise you, what's for you is always going to be for you. Oh, people think they are hurting you when they go around bashing you, saying negative things about you, telling your business, talking about any of your insecurities or insecurities that they assume that you have. When they do that, they think they are hurting you when they throw dirt on your name. Oh, when they just go around spreading rumors and lies. Oh, when they go around speculating, scrutinizing and try to sabotage you, they think they are hurting you. You, but let me tell you something the truth is they are the ones that are hurt they are the ones that are hurt okay because hurt people hurt people we know that saying you see when they bash you and put you down and talk about you I'm talking about they say the ugliest meanest things whether they're doing it in the streets they're doing it in the workplace or they're doing it online I don't care if it's friends former friends family members especially family members especially family members your exes in-laws or maybe it's you the person that you're currently involved with their exes it doesn't matter it doesn't matter who it is let me tell you something what you say about others says more about you like i said they think they're hurting you but it's only the people that are bothered by you they're triggered by you are the only ones that are going to try to put you down and bash you yeah 
<laughs> yeah. Yeah. Because people who are happy with themselves, they're happy with their life. They have good things going for themselves. They're secure within themselves. Very secure. Regardless of if they like you or not, regardless of what the situation is, they wouldn't speak about you. They wouldn't speak of you. They wouldn't waste time putting you down because they have so many blessings and good things going on in their life. Only hurt people, people who are bothered by you, triggered by you. People who are intimidated by you. People who are envious of you. People who are holding a grudge towards you. People who have hidden animosity or animosity towards you are going to be the only ones who will bash you in the streets. Because hurt people hurt people. What they don't realize is it says more about them. When I hear someone bashing another person, oh baby, who hurt you? I hope you heal. That's the new phrase. For negative people who bash you and talk about you, don't match the energy. Don't ever match that low energy. Don't stoop. Why would you stoop? I don't care how good your knees are. You better not stoop. We don't match their energy. We're leaders. Climb up and try to match ours. Positive vibes. Living our lives like it's golden. Do you hear me while you're doing this? When they're bashing you, keep going. Keep looking good. Keep improving. I'm talking about keep improving. I don't care if they're they're bashing the way that you look. Come harder. Keep going. Glow up. And baby, sometimes they bash your looks and you look good. You look good. But they do that because they're trying to knock your self-esteem. They're trying to lower your self-esteem because their self-esteem is low. They're trying to knock your confidence. Keep being confident. Keep being you. Keep stepping. That's how you shut them down. By continuing to go, keep moving. Your resilience shuts them down. They're trying to hurt you. Don't ever show that they're hurting you. Don't ever show them that you're bothered. We don't let the bothered bother us. We're too blessed. We're too blessed. You shut them down by continuing to go on with your life and paying them no mind. Here's three signs somebody may be jealous of you. Don't overlook these red flags, man. You need to be careful because the whole time a motherfucker could be jealous of you or even hanging on you the whole time. Sign number one, they want to be like you. They do everything like you. It's like, damn, it's like, damn, they're, it's like they yo goddamn reflection. It's like, your ass is weird. That's a sign that they might be jealous of you and they hang on you. And the crazy thing is, for you to hate or be jealous of me and want to be just like me, that's fucking insane. Sign number two, they never congratulate you when you accomplish something. They kind of like act like it never even happened. Or you can almost even tell with their energy. It's off. Like, damn, I just accomplished something. You you just acting like that. It just happened. Definitely hate and definitely jealous. They got to go. And last but not least, they always throwing slick comments or slick shots. And it could be anything. I'll give y'all uh, three examples. Oh, you got that little car. Oh, you think you all that. Why do you feel you better than me? That's the biggest one. I don't feel I'm better than you. That just might be how they feel. I mean, I'm just being me. I'm just doing me. Like, I didn't know you felt that way. But yeah, man, if you got any of those three signs from uh, somebody that you fucking with or your friend or anybody, cut their ass off. They hating, man. I'm about to list three tactics that jealous people use in the workplace. Number one, ignoring. You have a really bright light and you intimidate people. And you're highly mistaken if you think these people are gonna work on their own self-esteem. No, they're gonna try to break yours down. You can walk in a room and say good morning to everybody and they will ignore you. They will give you a stank face. You could be in a room trying to join in on a conversation and they will sit there and intentionally ignore you. They will walk in a room and speak to everybody but you. They're doing this because they wanna make you feel invisible. They wanna make you feel like you're not nobody. Don't fall for that. Number two, they will set you up for failure on purpose. There are people out here who will intentionally exclude information from you. They will train you and not teach you what you need to know. And then they will walk around acting like you're stupid and you're incompetent because you don't know what to do, but they never told you. This is so they can humiliate you so they can feel better than you. Number three, they will pick you apart and hold on to every flaw that you have and announce it to the world. When you show that you are not perfect, they just love it. <gasps> See, she made a mistake. She doesn't know what she 
she's doing. She's out there messing up. Oh, they just have to let everyone know. Now they might be able to fool everyone else into thinking that you're stupid, but you're not, baby. Your light follows you everywhere you go, so you're gonna always run into at least one hater on the job. So, oh, and these types of people run in packs together, so they will team up on you, doing all of these things to you at once, making your life a living hell. While you're going through this, just know that it's not you, it's them. They need therapy, they, they need healing, um, but they probably won't do that. So I suggest that you just leave the environment that enables this type of behavior and go on about your business. You deserve way better than that. Healing Aqua Black Girl. Wow, all I can say is, you know, that jealous energy to be jealous of somebody or jealous of some what somebody has accomplished is to not know the value in yourself at all. So it usually stems from a person just not knowing who they are to look at somebody else and feel like they have to feel jealous of what their accomplishments are, what they've got going on. Man, you gotta lose that type of energy and replace that with some love energy or some something motivational that can get you and you know find a way to accomplish your goals and stop looking over at what other people are doing. You guys let me know down below. Have you ever been treated a certain way, maybe in your workplace or maybe just where you grew up, your environment? Let me know about this jealous energy stuff because I see a lot of it going down on social media. It ain't right and we gotta at least cut some of this down, man. Let's 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 try to change things when it comes down to the new year, new energy. Alright? Until next time, it's your boy Mickey Fenty, aka Mickey Made It. If you're new to this channel, you know what to do to this channel. Subscribe right.